Xinhua News Agency reports that the 64th Berlin Film Festival held last Saturday proved to be a resounding triumph for domestic films. Black Coal Thin Ice saw its world premiere at the 64th Berlin Ale and won the Golden Bear, which is the jury prize awarded to the best film. Chinese director Diao Yinan's noirish thriller begins with a grisly discover of several corpses in 1999. Five years later, another series of mysterious murders occurs. Detective Zhang discovers that all the victims were connected to Wu Jujang, a young woman who works at a dry cleaning shop. The plot thickens when Zhang finds himself falling in love with the suspect. On one cold winter's day, he makes a horrific discovery. Chinese actor Liao Fan, who plays the role of Zhang Zili in the film, won the Silver Bear for Best Actor. The second of the three Chinese films in the competition, Blind Massage, which features a cast consisting partially of amateur blind actors, captured a Silver Bear for Outstanding Artistic Contribution by cinematographer Zhen Jian. To find out what Chinese net users have to say about these artistic achievements, let's cross over to the newsroom and our researcher, Julia Liu. Hi Julia, how do Chinese net users feel about the triumph of the Chinese films at the Berlin Film Festival, especially Black Coal Thin Ice, which took the highest honour? Well, as you can imagine, it's a thrilling news for Chinese net users. Well, this was Bai Ban Lu Sha Le Ge Cheng Yao Jing says, well, this tells us China is capable of providing quality cinema to the world. Provided that people are committed uh, to support such art and the government lessens their restrictions on the world of art. And a poster from Guangdong has uh, this thought. Now there's a domestic film with a huge investment, world famous director and a bunch of superstars is actually more likely to turn out to be rubbish while the less renowned directors and actors are pr pr produce better works, as they are really devoted and possibly are less restricted. Well, uh, there are still some online observers who downplay the significance of this film's international triumphs. Wang well, Post on uh, Huanqiu.com points out, well, there was a time when Chinese filmmakers c uh, considered such international prizes as their highest honor. Well, it was a national sensation when Red uh, Sorghum uh, won the Golden Bear in 1988. But it's not the case these days. Well, a breakthrough in box office numbers uh, would excite uh, the filmmakers and attract a bigger uh, public voice. Well, this poster has uh, this expectation. Well, I hope a black coal thin ice will become a hit at the box office too. Well, when it is publicly achieved in China, this will help to, to, to reform the usual situation, whereby a big prize film is generally misunderstood and therefore unpopular with the general public. What are some of the impressions given by net users of this particular film? Well, honestly, as a film that is yet to be released in China, or well, it hasn't had uh, the much opportunity to enjoy huge popularity among uh, Chinese viewers prior to the winning the uh, Golden Bear. Well, like uh, Cong Yun uh, on Sohu.com says, well, uh, that's amazing that uh, when most of the Chinese people didn't even know what this film was about, it won a big international prize. But uh, still, lots of Chinese net users uh, think uh, the recognition from the Berlin speaks for its high quality. Meanwhile, this film is highly regarded by quite a few domestic professionals in movie circles. While Zhou Liming, a renowned film a critic, uh, remarks, well, this is quite a particular work. Uh, it has a clear line of succession of American film noir uh, between uh, 1940 to 1950. While it has a unique characteristics too, uh, being from northeast China and a severe winter there. While it isn't a blockbuster, but it's perfect uh, in its use of light and shade uh, to create attractive scenes. Well, uh, D. E. Bianqu as it's widely agreed that uh, the script for the film is uh, a rare work in China, and uh, the director has amazed the audience with his uh, brilliant feat. And uh, he doesn't think the award came accidentally, saying, "Well, the director Diao Yinan is uh, not quite a familiar name for Chinese audiences, but he, ha he has catered to them with quite a few classic works. Well, the Night Train, also directed by him, attracted wide attention at the uh, 60s uh, Cannes Film Festival." And uh, another user named uh, Cheng Yu Guo Ji Zhongxin says, Well, I was drawn to Black Coal Thin Eyes simply after watching the trailer and seeing the posters. And lots of those users uh, have expressed that uh, they would like to go to the theater to see this film now. What are net users' comments about Liao Fan, who won Best Actor for the role of Zhang Zili? 
or generally that you just think highly of Liao uh, as a distinguished actor who rose to fame through an accumulation of efforts and applaud his success to have a Chinese actor occupy another place in such a prestigious international film festival. Well, post on Sina.com has uh, this appraisal. While Liao has always been a supporting actor in commercial blockbusters, uh, where the glorification belongs to the leading actors. Meanwhile, he plays a leading role in the last commercial film and offers an excellent performance. Well, this poster on Sohu.com congratulates Liao and says, Well, I've enjoyed Liao's performance since high school. Now I'm 29 and he's 40, and he finally wins a big prize. Well, his prime has just begun. And another fan of Liao, uh, who is from Guangdong, is also delighted. Well, I like Liao, especially for his role in the TV drama, The Line. Well, finally, his talent is recognized on a much bigger scale. Well, Xin Dao Zhe 2014 feels that Liao presents uh, Zhang Zili uh, perf perfectly in Black Coal, Thin Ice. And he says, well, first, he just looks like an ordinary policeman and is uncommunicative and depressed. Once he's with the heroine uh, Wu Zhizhen, uh, he's a man of irresistible appeal. Well, I figure Liao works with a down-to-earth attitude when interpreting his role. Well, another poster also says, Liao put on 22 pounds intentionally for the role of uh, Zhang, and his uh, passion for a performance is fully expressed in the film. While well, the heroine's performance is also impre impressive. And uh, I want to wrap up with the whole discussion uh, with this poster from uh, Tao Yijia, Chen Ziguang. Well, there are a number of hardworking Chinese filmmakers who deserve more opportunities. Or well, they need such international acknowledgement as Berlin to help open things up in China, to obtain better resources and make greater achievements. Thanks, Julia. And that was Chinatech researcher Julia Liu with a look at some views on the exciting film wins for China at the Berlin Film Festival. Next up on Chinatech, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.